Hi, this is Boney James. Welcome to the Waves free e-newsletter. I first became interested in jazz when I was just starting out in high school and the music teacher at the school had a Grover Washington CD, it was Mr. Magic, and he brought it into the music class and played it for everybody and, and right away it was just like, wow, what's that? I got the Boney James nickname, it was 1986. Uh, we were getting $30 a day per diem for food and expenses and stuff like that. And uh, everything was really expensive. I said to the keyboard player, a guy named Wayne Lindsay, uh, man, I'm getting, I'm, I'm running out of, I'm running out of per diem. I just won't eat for the next couple days. And he said, oh, you'll get all skinny, man. We'll have to start calling you Boney James. And next thing you know, I had a nickname, it just stuck. Playing live was one of the main reasons I decided to become a musician. You know, I just loved that feeling of being on stage and uh, something sort of comes over me when I'm playing a show and I, even though the crowd is watching, they're, they're an integral part of what makes a show happen. My first uh, entrance into the music business was working as a sideman, you know, backing up other artists. And for a, a while there, I thought I had it made. But as the years went by, I became frustrated doing that because I couldn't play my saxophone enough and also because I was recreating other people's music and I wasn't able to, to play my own music, which I had started writing. And I, I became more and more frustrated. I wanted people to hear the music I was making. The kind of music I like is music that's honest, that doesn't feel like it's forced. And that's the kind of music that I'm trying to make. When I write a song, um, I hear in my head how it sounds, even though it's not finished yet. So it's the great thing about making records, because you don't always know what it's going to be like until you get there. And then these sparks happen, and that's where the magic comes from. And, well, when I'm making a record, what I really like to do is try and stay spontaneous. You know, people often ask me if there's a, a plan, or do, did I have like a concept when I start each record, and, and I really don't. Uh, I try and just sort of see where the songs go, and, and I follow that. It's, it's more of being led by the inspiration than having a, a preset plan. You know, delivering pizzas to, to being nominated for Grammys, it's, it's an amazing journey in a way, and, and lots of times I just can't believe it myself, you know. Um, when I made my first record, I thought my mom would be the only one that would buy it. And, and, you know, since then I've had four gold records, you know, so I look at my career sometimes and I'm just amazed. Um, and I really don't take it for granted. I'm very grateful for everything that's happened to me. And, and I just love the, the work and the process of doing it. I remember the first time I ever heard myself on the radio was on the wave and it was one of the most exciting moments of my life. So those guys are a huge part of, of you know, popularizing this kind of music and, and, and letting it thrive, which is a wonderful thing. When I make records, you know, I, I do it because I love it and I would do it even if I wasn't, you know, selling any records. <laughs>